This is the first like legitimate poem that I've ever written, so I hope you enjoy it. It's not, it's not been too much respect for it, but here we go. Alright. I found true religion is not in some denim. It's sad that this media tempts us to be constantly sinning. It's a spiritual warfare, and I'm fighting with the Lord and winning. But I do fail him sometimes the devil gets me slipping. But let's try to improve and make more holy moves. No matter how hard we try, we still catch ourselves sinning. Get saying if they're ill and it's an antonym. Thinking that sinning is cooler than friends, but a condemned soul is dying within. All these power trips and quick money schemes has us too blind to see. Not even a nice pair of Ray-Bans can help you see his vision for your life. So think twice before you live like we're guaranteed nine years of living. Be thankful for today and the many blessings that were given. Girls on their knees for pleasing more than for Jesus, trying to be pleases. All on knees like doggy. Styles are trying to fit in with society, but really society and media has a suckers for the devil. But don't ever let yourself stoop down to that level. People living like this life is all theirs, when spiritually there's a warfare and the actions. Have them fighting knowingly on the best seat on the highway to hell. Not climbing up the heavenly stairwell. What happens on the day when Jesus comes down? See the at the right hand of God on those heavenly clouds. People will be shocked, like, wow, he's real. I just say that all this time I've been trying to tell you the deal. He'll separate the sheep and the goats. I'll be running to my shepherd, and I'm sorry to everyone who just heard me share the gospel and said whatever. People will ascend up into heaven with the Lord, and people will be left behind in the double run world. I'm doing what I can to go with the man. Surely the second coming is at hand. So listen when I say to obey his plan. To go up in heaven on that blessed day, I'm going to do what I have to do. But there will be people left behind in the double run world. Just don't let that be you. Another one, kind of on the same same note, same topic. It's a little longer, but it goes. I'm tired of complaining about how I want to see a change in the world. Well, someday, not one day, but two day, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help bring that change. And it's a shame to see that the one who is keeping that change from happening was me. People keep talking about how this world is so evil. We'll do something about it. Be that good and bring that change. But I have to show them that the only way to be that change is to call upon His name. And I'm not talking about the president, king, or lord of your society but the King of Kings, Lord of all lords, and everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So his words are just bubbling inside of me. It's my job, obligation, and purpose to share, even though some people would just stare and say how dare. Frankly, I just don't care, because of Acts 20, verse 24, and Romans 1, verse 16, plus if I live to plead this devil-driven society, that would just be the eternal death of me. So don't care and don't be scared, because if you're strong or truly love the Lord, then you should be begging to share. Confused and broken people often ask, how can God exist and all this evil will continue to happen and he not do anything about it. But have you ever thought that maybe we deserved it because we are part of the source of this evil? Or how he forgives us and showers us with his grace and blesses us daily with breath and new opportunity to make a change. She changed in the world is not out of any of your range. We cannot live expecting God to fix all of our problems. Although out of his love and mercy, he often does fix a lot. We need to start and fix ourselves, blame ourselves for what is happening. People want evil such as death murder, rape, theft, and abuse to be terminated by God. Well, the human race are the ones doing these things. Isn't that kind of odd? So everyone who says that God cannot be real because he doesn't stop the evil, they're saying that all of us need to be terminated for them to finally realize God is real. Well, that's too late. And some people may say, well, well, I don't do that evil. We may not be murderers, but we have all well, at least one son and cheat, still in lie, not one you can deny. That sounds like evil to me. So stop and think that these evil occurrences can be a sign about the end of time. The end is definitely near and Jesus is coming back down, so don't be shocked like a deer in the headlight. God is making this sign he might, making this sign shine nice and bright, so listen and be that light. Next time you criticize and ask God for a change, ask him how you can be that change. <laughs>